Luke Michael Howard from Luke Gnosis Hypnosis here. And I'll talk a little bit in this short video about the difference from PTSD, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, and CPTSD, Complex Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. Both could potentially be devastating when we don't deal with the symptoms and help to heal them in ourselves. Many of us, and certainly myself up to the last six months or so, are very familiar with post-traumatic stress disorder, worked with a lot of clients. Generally, this is identified by people that um, are overly aware. Generally, some kind of trauma happened to them that they can identify, a very specific thing. Perhaps it's the shoulder that comes to me that, you know, had to fight in Afghanistan and, God forbid, had to kill people because that was his job and had to see his soldiers, his comrades' heads explode next to him. So he's got this post-traumatic stress disorder. So when he comes back into modern society, say downtown Toronto, where there isn't a hell of a lot of, uh, of danger or um, any need to feel really unsafe compared to a war, war, yet when he hears a car back out of a, a car parking space, this big soldier who's six foot six and 330 pounds will basically get down into the fetal position and start rocking in the front of the street because he has this flashback to this terrible thing that happened. Another example is the, um, uh, the woman who was in a, an abusive relationship with somebody and this person beat this woman over and over again physically. And now, whenever this woman looks at a man or anyone that looks somewhat similar to her last partner, she just sees violence and danger and cows and puts her arms up. Goes back to a specific situation, perhaps where he beat her, he hurt her. It's a kind of post-traumatic stress disorder, an overstimulation of the fight or flight response inside body, thinking it's protecting you, but really putting you under more and more stress. It's terrible if, if you don't deal with it and if you don't get the right help. However, typically, almost all the time in my situations of working with people post-traumatic stress disorder, um, there's a specific incident to find. Now with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, I suffered from it for many years. There wasn't one particular event. There was lots of little events, lots of little paper cuts, if you will, that accumulated over time, over years, but not necessarily one big event that like happened with the soldier or the woman that was abused, but lots of little paper cuts that accumulated over 10, 20, 30, 40 years, which then start to have emotional flashbacks where you don't have the visual and feel bad, but you just go into emotions. Everything's going hunky-dory and then suddenly you feel bad, but nothing happened. Or you've always felt, to quote one of my favourite movies, The Matrix, like there's a there's like a wooden splinter in your brain. You don't know how it got there or why it's there, but you've always felt it. And you always felt that you weren't right or something was wrong. And perhaps you haven't had the ultimate highs of feeling amazing joy, amazing happiness. Or amazing lows like despair or sorrow. You've kind of just been coasting along, but you haven't felt like you've truly been alive. And you dissociate from a lot of things. That means you're not in the picture, you're not feeling the feelings, you're just kind of watching them, you're kind of observing them. And it's like a, it's almost like water torture, right? Chinese water torture, where they would put soldiers underneath uh, the dripping water and over a couple of drips of water, of course not gonna do any damage, but minute after minute, hour after hour, day after day, month after month, year after year, this accumulated damage of this accumulated paper cuts all over you. You start to wonder why you don't feel the highs that people around you are feeling. Why you don't feel alive. Why good things happen, but you don't feel amazing. Do you almost feel a little bit, dare I say, like a zombie? But you're not quite sure because nothing specifically, one particular terrible thing happened, but just a lot of little paper cuts over a long period of time. It's post-traumatic stress disorder. You dissociate from things. Generally, there's a lot of abandonment issues. And it's all linked to explicit memories before the age of five, before we consciously remembered what happened. And it may have been an event that we look back now as being a small event, but at that time was really big, that we learned from our parents, from our loved ones, from our caregivers. But once you know if you're suffering from the symptoms of CPTSD, all right, there is help and there is things you can do. I can help you. Always believe.